Hello guys, you're welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so what if I tell you that you can retouch your images in less than three minutes and you will get a high-end result? That is what we are looking at today. So um, to make the whole thing easy for you, we have an action that is comprised of this particular process. I'm going to be putting you through the process so you understand how we did it. So the action for it is equally here for free. All you need to do is just to watch through the video so you can get the password. Don't come to the comment section and be like, I can't find the password. I can't find the password. It's actually there. So you have to just be disciplined enough to stay through, learn and understand the process. Then definitely you will see the password. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's get started. This is not a blemish removal video, although we are going to be removing blemishes when the need arises but this is not a blemish remover video so i wouldn't want to waste your time with blemish remover and all of that so i'm just going to jump straight into what we are here for so now look at look at it this way from the concept of frequency separation frequency separation is just uh separating your textures from your color so you can work on your color separately and even work on your texture separately without having to affect the two at the same time that is the concept of what we are doing today just a little twigging here and there to make it now look quite different from frequency separation but it's the same concept trust me it's the same concept so how do we do that very simple duplicate your background layer into two layers so press ctrl j two times so you have two layers rename one low frequency rename one high frequency the one up high frequency so your texture is always up and your details and your color is down. So the first thing you will do, normally what we do in frequency separation, deactivate your high frequency, excuse me. All right, so deactivate your high frequency, go to filter. Before you do that, convert it to a smart object, very important, so you can have manual control over the values later. Go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. So what Gaussian blur is going to do for you is that Gaussian blur is going to be responsible for how smooth the image is going to come out so i will take it somewhere quite extreme so you will see the result of course you can come back later and reduce it so for the purposes of the video i'll be running somewhere around 18. i think 18 should be okay for this image depending on the res of your own image you can decide to go higher or lower so at 18 leave it like that then reactivate your high frequency go to filter before you do that once again convert to smart content very important very important go to filter Go to order, go to high pass. Now, high pass is where we will be keeping our texture, where we'll be retaining our texture. Now, you need to understand that high pass already comes with a gray applied to the image. I would have filled it up with 50% gray, then try adding texture, then try adding maybe like detailed sharpness or something, then change the blend mode to overlay. But high pass already gives you a 50% gray covering on your image so we don't want to go through that process that's why we are going straight into high pass so for the high pass i'll keep it somewhere around too and high pass is a very effective way of retaining texture in your image so you wouldn't want to do it quite extreme so let's run somewhere around 2.7 and see what we'll have okay so i think i like 2.7 if it's too much or too, too low we can still affect it later we can rechange the value that is the essence of the smart object so now having do that, done that rather, change your blend mode to linear light. Look at the way the image is already looking smooth and all of that. But the problem is that it's something around the whole image. It's everywhere. We don't want it to be the hair, the lips, the eyes and all of that. So to fix that, group the two of them into the same group and create a mask for it like this. So now you can use your brush and manually paint that effect into places you want to have it just like this manually paint the effect into places you want to have it see the way it's retaining our textures and all of that so i'll just do it quickly i'll just do it quickly try not to flatten out your image try not to flatten out your image i know it's obviously too much we can reduce the opacity we can go change the value of Gaussian blur we can go change the value of high pass we can do all of that that's why we converted most of them to smart objects so it can be editable we can just go and change the value so for the purpose of the video i'll just be focusing on the face of course this works on the whole body 
from your face to your leg to your arms. Just not to make the whole video too long, I'll be focusing on the face. Remember, the action for this is already here. I uh, did an action for it. We've already, already recorded that and it's free. Just make sure you watch till the end to get the password. But I would advise you understand how this is done first before start using an action. It is very important. You know how to use it. Look at it this way. You walk into a into a into an office or a place. Let's say you're a freelancer and you walk into a place where you do not have access to actions, the touch academy, and all the plugins you work with. And you still produce the same level of results you produce, even with actions. That is why you need to take out time and learn the procedure very well before you go into the automated functions so that you can be able to work as well, even if the automated functions are not available for your user at the moment. Okay, so think we are cool. Think we are cool. All right, I think I'm losing the eyebrow. So just bring it back a little like this. Nice. All right, so let's look at the before and after. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Massive change, massive change. Let me take it back a little. This is before, this is after. Look at the way it's maintaining the dimensions or the shadows and highlights. So let me show you how you can re-edit the values. Now, let's say that you feel that the texture is too much or too, too low. You can just come and double click on the high pass and it will open up again. So you can decide to increase it. Let's increase. You see how it's looking. You can decide to reduce it by one. I think this is not good at all. I like it at two points, two points something. I think it's it's cool at two point nine as well. Look at that. Then you can only go back to your Gaussian blocks to the same thing. So if you feel the smoothness is smoothness is too much, you can come and drop it maybe around fourteen. You can come and increase it maybe around twenty two. Look at the way it's affecting it. Depending on what you want, amazing amazing technique that you will use for your work. Now, let's also use it for use the action. So you see how the action works. Although I'm not going to be painting again, but I'm just going to show you how the action works. So this is action here. You press play. So it will give you options to or places to choose the values you want. So at here, we did somewhere around 18, I guess. Press 18 and it will load up for high pass and tell you, okay, choose what you want. So I think we did around 2.7. So we'll just choose 2.7 as well, like that. Press enter. And you are good to go so you can now apply it on your own image and you will have the same results make sure you take out your time like i said and learn the procedure you have to watch the video three times to understand the setup do it it will help you a lot don't use the automated function yet make sure you learn the manual procedure before you go into the automated functions so you can be a master in what you do thank you very much for watching this amazing video Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so and ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Please, please, please learn the procedure. See you next time.